गवर्नर ऑफ तमिलनाडु श्री आर एन रवि जी चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ तमिलनाडु श्री एम के स्टालिन जी चांसलर डॉक्टर के एम अन्नमलाई वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर गुरमित सिंह जी स्टाफ एंड सपोर्ट स्टाफ ऑफ गांधीग्राम रूरल इंस्टीट्यूट ब्राइट स्टूडेंट्स एंड देर प्राउड पेरेंट्स वणकम Congratulations to all the young minds who are graduating today. I also congratulate the parents of the students. Your sacrifices have made this day happen. The teaching and non-teaching staff also deserve. appreciation friends coming to a convocation here is a very inspirational experience for me gandhi gram was inaugurated by mahatma gandhi himself the natural beauty rural life simple but intellectual environment one can see the spirit of mahatma gandhi's ideals ideas of rural development here my young friends you are all graduating at a very important time gandhian values are becoming very relevant whether it is about ending conflicts or the climate crisis mahatma gandhi's ideas have the answers to many of today's challenges as students of the gandhian way of life you have a great opportunity to make a big impact friends the best tribute to mahatma gandhi is to work on ideas close to his heart khadi had been neglected and forgotten for a long time but through the call of khadi for nation khadi for fashion it had been become very popular in the last 8 years the sales of the khadi sector saw an increase of over 300% <clears throat> khadi and village industries commission has had a record turnover of over rupees 1 lakh crore last year now even global fashion brands are taking to khadi because it is an eco friendly fabric good for the planet this is not a revolution of mass production this is the revolution of production by the masses bath mangadi so khadi as a tool of self reliance in villages in the self reliance of villages he saw the seeds of self reliant india inspired by him we are working towards atmanirbhar bharat Tamil Nadu was a key center of the Swadeshi movement. It will once again play an important role in Atmanirbhar Bharat. Friends, understanding Mahatma Gandhi's vision of rural development is important. He wanted villages to progress. 
at the same time he wanted the values of ruler life to be conserved our vision of rural development draws inspiration from gandhi our vision is atma gaon ki suvidha shahar ki aur gramatin anma nagaratin vasdi it is fine for urban and rural areas to be different difference is fine disparity is not for a long time inequality between urban and rural areas remain but today the nation is correct correcting this complete rural sanitation coverage tap water to over 6 crore homes 2.5 crore electricity connections more rural roads are taking development to the people's doorstep sanitation was a concept very dear to mahatma gandhi this has been revolutionized through swachh bharat but we are not stopping at delivering just basics today even the benefits of modern science and technology are reaching villages 6 lakh kilometers of optic fiber cable have been laid to connect nearly 2 lakh gram panchayats rural areas have benefited from the low cost of interim data internet or not studies say that internet usage is growing much faster in rural areas than urban areas this opens up a world of opportunities under the swamitva scheme we are using drones to map lands we also provide people with property cards farmers are getting connected with many apps they are getting the help of crores of soil health cards a lot has been done but there is much more to be done you are the younger brighter generation you are greatly capable of building on this foundation friend when it comes to rural development we must take care of sustainability youth need to provide leadership in this sustainable agriculture is crucial for the future of rural areas there is great enthusiasm for natural farming for chemical free farming it reduces the country dependence on fertilizer imports it is also good for soil health and human health we have already begun work in this direction our organic farming farming scheme is doing wonders especially in the northeast in the last year's budget we came out with a policy related to natural farming you can play an important role in creating awareness about natural farming in villages regarding sustainable farming there is one more important point youth must focus upon the time has come to save agriculture from monoculture 
many native varieties of grains millets and other crops need to be revived many kinds of millets are mentioned even in the sangama era they were loved by the people of ancient tamil nadu there are nutritious and climate resilient moreover crop diversity can help save the soil and water your own university uses renewable energy solar energy installed capacity has increased almost 20 fold in the last 8 years if solar energy becomes widespread in villages india can become self reliant in energy too friends gandhian thinker vinoba bhave once made an observation he said that elections for village level bodies tend to divisive communities and even families end up breaking over them in gujarat to counter this we had started the samras gram yojana villages that choose leader through mutual agreement were given certain incentives this greatly reduce social conflicts young people can be worked with villagers to develop similar mechanism across india if villages can be united they can fight problems like crime drugs and anti social elements friends mahatma gandhi fought for a united and independent india gandhi gram itself is a story of india's unity this is where thousands of villagers came to a train to have a glimpse of gandhi ji it did not matter where he was from what mattered was both gandhi ji and the villagers were indians tamil nadu has always been the home of national consciousness here swami vivekanand received a heroic welcome on his return from the west even last year we witnessed the chants of veer vanakkam the way tamil people showed their respect for general bipin rawat but deeply moving meanwhile kashi tamil sang sangamam will soon happen in kashi it will celebrate the bond between kashi and tamil nadu the people of kashi are eager to celebrate tamil nadu's language culture and history this is this is ek bharat shreshth bharat in action this love and respect for each other is the basis of our unity i appeal to the youth graduating year to especially focus on encouraging unity friends today i am in a region which has seen the power of nari shakti this is where rani velu nachar state when she was preparing to fight the british i see young women graduating here at the biggest change makers you will help rural women succeed their success is the nation success friends at a time when the world faced the worst crisis in a century india has been a bright spot beat the world's largest vaccine drive food security for the poorest or being the world's growth engine india has shown what it is made of 
the world expects india to do great things because india's future is in the hands of a can do generation can do generation of youth youth who not only accept challenges but also enjoy them youth who not only question but also find the answers youth who are not only fearless but are also tireless youth who not only aspire but also achieve so my message to the youth graduating today is you are the builder of new india you have the responsibility of leading india in its amrit kal the next 25 years once again congratulations to all of you and all the best thank you